Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored video. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this video is for Transformers Legacy Bulkhead. And this decal set includes four decal sheets on a combination of foil and vinyl backing. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at Bulkhead, both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, Bulkhead is a big green fighting machine. Taking a closer look at the figure, really nice paint applications here on the face. He's got a little silver in the crest. Blue eyes, silver face, moving on down to the chest. We've got black windshield wipers and translucent windows right here that almost don't look too bad, except you can look straight through the chest, which of course is very hollow. I wish those were a little darker. You got translucent windows all the way around the chest of Bulkhead. Down here on the lower chest, we got a black bumper with a molded in wrench and blue headlights. We got some silver here for the shoulders, wheels up there on top. Moving on down, gray plastic here for the crotch and the legs. You do have some paint there for the knees. And really, that's about it for the deco other than the red Autobot logo right there below the windows. So there you go, there is one final look at Bulkhead in robot mode before and after. And I want to commend Toy Hacks for all of the different options that they give you for this Bulkhead set. You've got options for an animated look, a prime look, and a movie hound look. And what I did was just mix and match decals till I got a Bulkhead that I liked. So anyway, taking a closer look at the figure, we'll start here with the head sculpt. I gave him a new decal right there for the crest. It's a silver decal. You have an option for green or blue. He has new eye decals. There's also options for full blue, movie style eyes, or I believe these are the animated eyes. They have a black outline. I also gave him his animated chin, as you can see right there goes all the way around. You do have the option to give him the movie style hound beard, but I went with the animated look. We got decals right here on top of the chest area. Brand new windows right there that go all the way around the cab. There is new decals right here for the side. You get kind of a military green with an Autobot logo. You do have another option that is a red cross with little Autobot symbols there. Uh, more decals on the chest. Got a silver section here with an Autobot logo, A13. New lights right there and lights down for the crotch. Now on the arms, I did each arm different. For this arm right here, I went with the movie style hound. As you can see, there's ammo belts right there and underneath the arm. And the reason I did that, I have a Firetox design mini gun that I'm going to give this bulkhead. So I think that works with all the ammo belts feeding into this awesome mini gun. And I'm going to put a link in the description where you can get one of these for yourself. Go ahead and get that out of his hand here. And on the other arm, I've got the same details for the biceps right there, but this arm is different. It has the military star and blue and silver decals underneath. Now up here on the shoulders, he gets a yellow decal there, new black decals on the front and top of the shoulders. Moving on down, got a green stripe for the crotch, new decals there for the thighs. 
new decals for the knees, blue striping right there on the calves, and some decals right there for the toes. And let's see, there's also decals that cover up the chrome pins, and on the back, more decals that cover up the pins. So all in all, I am really impressed with Bulkhead's robot mode. Now, bringing in his shield, underneath the shield that I didn't show off earlier, it was just completely green, uh, you do have new decals here on the side, and there is a little bit of graffiti that says Wreck and Rule. You do have some other options you can put on the shield. You have Polaroids of Miko and I think, is her name Sari? Siri? I'm sure I'll get corrected in the comments. So you got these little Polaroids you can put on there as well. So I dig that. I love the extra decals. So there you go, guys. There's Bulkhead in robot mode after. In vehicle mode, straight out of the packaging, Bulkhead retains all of the same colors that he had in robot mode. Taking a closer look at the vehicle, you see the translucent windows here on the cab, along with all the molded detail that we did see earlier, along with the black bumper and the blue lights. The wheels, of course, are a lot more prominent in this mode. We got a little vent area here, a molded gas tank, and some molded in wood slats. I really like that. It reminds me of the military vehicles I used to drive back in the day. Love the molded detail here on the canopy. And of course, looking around the figure, really no paint applications whatsoever in vehicle mode, aside from the Autobot logo and the blue headlights. So there you go. One final look at bulkhead in vehicle mode before and after. Bulkhead gets quite the military makeover thanks to Toy Hacks. Taking a closer look at the vehicle, the first decals you're probably noticing are the new window decals that I think look awesome. I love that blue color. Now, you wanna pay special attention to which decals you're putting on because if you can see right here, there is a rear view mirror that you can barely see through the blue. So you want to make sure and have the correct orientation here. He also gets a new decal right there for the front of the cab. You have a couple different options. I went with more of a bronze collar where you also have a silver. Also has a new Autobot logo right there in the center along with a Raba insignia. Now Raba is the brand of military vehicle that this is. Looking at other decals here on the cab, he gets a, if I get that to focus, an A13 there on the front, new black decals on either side, new turn signal decals, and new headlight decals. On top of the vehicle, there's new decals here, here, and here, along with a green decal right there that covers up all of the black. Moving on to the side of the vehicle, he gets new decals right here to kind of add more windows or there's also an option, let me find the paperwork, where you can put the red cross or pinup art. So what I did is I left the blue windows on this side and put pinup art on the other side. I really like that. I think I'm gonna save the red cross for something later because I, I don't feel the red cross look for this vehicle. Speaking of options, there is an optional star decal that goes on the canopy. I went with the red, white, and blue star. You also have plain white. Inside each tire is a new silver decal. New decals there for the gas tank. Gas tank, can't talk. New decals right there to accent the vents. Moving along to the back of the vehicle, there is diamond plating here on top with new rear lights. On top of the vehicle, we've got new decal right there, 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 and right there along the top. So all in all, I am really impressed with how this vehicle looks, and I do appreciate all of the different options. So there you go, guys. Bulkhead in vehicle mode after. Man, I absolutely love what Toy Hacks was able to do for Legacy Bulkhead. This figure was so plain looking before, but now he pops. And like I said, I appreciate all the different options that Toy Hacks gives you with this set, 
Whether you're an animated fan, a Prime fan, or a movie fan, there's some decals for you. Or you can be like me and just mix and match to your heart's content. Now I do have a lot of leftover decals and I may apply some to my new Wreck and Rule bulkhead, but then again, I may wait and see what Toy Hacks has in store for him. So if you have a legacy bulkhead, I highly, highly recommend this set. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. And if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do have a new super thanks button, and I also offer channel memberships. And I have to give a huge shout out to my current channel members because it's support like yours that helps keep this channel going. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out.